guys, Ralph here. True Power Trumpet Fitness. And welcome to Torrential Downpour Thursday. Oh my God, it's, I, I, need, I need an arc. Me and Noah, baby, it's unbelievable out. Anyway, unfortunately, I do have to go out. I have to go to the uh, post office, get some stuff off to uh, Penn State. But anyway, you saw the thumbnail, relax the corners. Yes, Ralph, relax the corners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, you have to relax the corners. Let's go over this. Let's go over this again. Okay, I am playing a little bit, so let's see what we got. Double season tartini, baby. <laughs> anyway, relax the corners. Guys, number one, why do I keep harping on this in my books, in my videos? Guys, over and over and over. It's so important that you reinforce good, reinforce good habits. Guys, the mind controls the body, and you have to saturate your mind with the three rules and listen to it every day and listen to great trumpet players every day and look at great chops every day. It's very, very important that you saturate, saturate your mind. Guys, the minute you leave me and you go off to band or you go off to whatever and you start listening to inferior players and this, guys, it's own port. It, it's brainwash. There's no question about it. That's what education is. It's a form of brainwash. If you go to a yeshiva university, they're going to brainwash you into thinking their way. If you go to a Catholic school, they're going, to, they're going to teach another way. If you go to a public school, it's going to be a different thing. It's molding your mind. The mind controls the body. And if you've got it straight in your mind, you can do it with the chops. Okay. Now, the picture of Dizzy, that, that was sort of a joke. Dizzy, as you know, if you look at earlier pictures, and I'm not going to get into that now, because that's hardly the point, he was very relaxed, and he wasn't all puffed out like that. But I'll tell you, the irony is I put that for relaxed corners, and then there's no question the corners are relaxed, but that is straining, baby. That is big time straining. First of all, his chops look mangled. Second of all, do this hard. Do that hard for about 30 seconds, and if your cheeks are killing you, by the time you're done, that's all stretched out. He didn't start that way. He just got worse and worse. And I'll tell you what, by the end of his career, guys, it was not pretty. Because that, that isn't what we're after. And as far as I know, if somebody wants to give me another name and another picture, I can't think of anybody that had any sort of success with the cheeks puffed out like that. Okay? Now, you don't want them so tight. That's another thing. Okay. Now, okay. Now, what other player in the world can have people literally pulling at his cheeks while he is playing spit buzzing and not affect the tone one bit? Guys, that is, I think Morrison might be the only one, and Jerry. The only one. Okay? And guys, that is what gives you the versatility. Now, for the longest time when I wasn't relaxed, okay, yes, I could scream out some high notes, but all of a sudden when it's time to go play with a quintet, it was a different thing. I had to change my mouthpiece. I had to warm up. Yes, I could play some high notes, but I had to go play piccolo trumpet. Ah, oh, please. Change the mouthpiece. Warm up. If I had to play a difficult... Uh, uh, piccolo trumpet performance, I would cancel dozens 
of jobs leading up to that so I wouldn't have to do that. And I don't know guys that today do that when they have to play something specific. For guys, there's no reason. Double C's on the big flat and B flat and go right into the tartini. There's no reason to do that. Why can do you have that versatility and then go down to the double pedal? I do that every day. Oh, you're just showing. Guys, I'm, yes, I am showing you off, but I'm showing you the only way you're going to be able to do that is with relaxed corners. The only way. Okay? Now, what do you have to do to relax? Guys, not only is this very, very telling. Yes, the corners are non-existent to me, to me um, producing a tone. But also, where a lot of people get off, that compression right there is so firm, you literally can't pull it apart. You can't pull it apart. That's how firm it is. Now, I've said in my books, I've said on these videos a zillion times, if you get one thing from these, from these books and videos and everything, okay? And the book is selling like hotcakes, guys. Uh, I don't have it here. It's upstairs. But anyway, book of the month. People are loving it. It's not even on the website yet. But anyway, if you relax the corners, that can't be the end of it. Yes, just relaxing the corners will, will improve your, your playing imme immediately, immeasurably measurably but it will not it's not the end you have to replace it with something I've told you a zillion times that's not a double C that's a double C see how firm that was now this is what many relax super fuzzy super fluffy that is what uh, just about all the conventional trumpet players, our teachers are asking you to do, okay? But the fact of the matter is, if you are playing a Bach mouthpiece that allows you to play that way, so you can flop into the cup and still pr pr create a tone, but every single one of those orchestral players are playing with tight corners. Every single one of them, those teachers and everything, have to play with tight corners. There's no other way around it. If you're not going to compress here, you have to get somewhere. That's why they can't, they have to play C trumpet. It's so floppy. And that is why they, they need, have, need instruments, change their instruments. That's why they have to change mouthpieces when they go above a high C. Guys, you can't do it with tight corners. It has to be relaxed and it has to be replaced with some with compression. It's all right there. That's all you need. Guys, Harry James, Horace Fisher, Maurice Andre. Those are the poster boys. Look at those relaxed corners. There is no strain there at all and it doesn't matter and Herseth, please there's no strain there at all. Their tones are remarkably similar. What they do with those tones is completely different, but their tones are remarkably similar, and they are not straining in the least. High notes, low notes, change the trumpet, jazz, classical, solo, it doesn't matter. The notes are here and inside your mouth with compression. It is not the instrument and it must be done, must be done with relaxed corners. That's it. Eat and drink fruits and vegetables. We'll wind it up, up another week tomorrow. Get your book. Where's the book? Here it is, right here. I knew I had it here. Now, guys, a lot of you, a lot of you, are new subscribers. I'm getting new subscribers every day, and it's absolutely wonderful. Guys, this, the book of the month, is not a method book. The book of the month is a synopsis of all the videos that I have done in the last month. So next month, there's going to be a, a, an article about Doc. 
Next one, there's going to be an article about relaxing the chops. Next one, there's going to be, uh, and so on. Okay? The method book that you want, if you're new and you want an explanation, an in-depth explanation of the whole method, that is on my website, www.tpwr.org. That book is True Power to the Max. All my books are now 10 bucks. The Double C Manifesto, Jerry, Jerry Count called the greatest book ever written for trumpet, is now off because we have tweaked the tongue position just a little bit. So basically, the Double C Manifesto is the same thing as True Power to the Max. And that's Jerry. <laughs> Good way to leave. We'll talk again tomorrow. Love you all.